The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Neutralize him by any means necessary. I wanted to, to know, since this movie is based on real characters and real events, to prepare your character, did you watch movies and, and films about uh, the character you play, or you just uh, treat it as a, you know, not knowing him from movies and videos? Because, you know, he's in a documentary, so maybe you saw that, or maybe didn't. Your shirt is very funny. Um, there wasn't very much available about um, uh, this character that I'm playing because he was doing uh, operations in secret with the FBI. So there's not much. That, all I had was in the documentary um, segment of an interview from Eyes on the Prize 2 in 1990. And then I was able to get my hands on a long form version of that. And that's pretty much all I had. Was that helpful to, to play your character? Yeah, it was helpful. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it gave me a little bit of insight into who he was. I basically had to ascertain different aspects on my own. So, you know, that was cool. Were you able to meet Deborah and Frank Jr.? I met, yeah, Fred Hampton, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. Um, and uh, yeah, I met Mama Kua much later. During filming, I tried not to really get into their face too much. I didn't want to interrupt them. But uh, afterwards, I, we had a you know, couple good conversations. We got a rat, man. Does anybody else know about me? No one knows your identity. Are you sure? What would be your favorite movie genre to watch? My favorite movie genre to watch is um, probably, hmm, probably, uh, it's hard, I think, uh, maybe psychological thrillers. Mm, that's a good one. And if you have to choose a movie genre to be in, to play in, what would that be? The same or maybe another one? Yeah, I don't really, um, I don't really care what genre it is. It just depends more on the story, you know, if the story is compelling. Okay. And what are you hoping people can, you know, take or learn from this movie? Maybe somebody that has no idea what happened or maybe if somebody knows about this, those events, maybe they get something new out of it. If you don't know about Chairman Fred Hampton's story, I'm very happy that we were able to help inform you a bit about it if you come to see the movie and, or, you know, watch the movie at home, actually. And uh, for people who know something already, um, I hope we can provide a little bit more context to the story or maybe give a unique perspective about it that you may not have thought about. Anyway, there's people. There's power.